How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and today we got to talk about 2020 presidential hopeful Bernie Sanders getting ready to drop out of the race, in my humble opinion. Now, before I even get into the details of it, let me explain why I have that opinion. At a campaign event recently, Bernie Sanders experienced some chest pain. He gets sent to the hospital and they discover a blocked artery. They perform an emergency surgery on him to put two stents in the artery so he's able to have the blockage removed. He has canceled all events, anything on the campaign trail until further notice, meaning there's no exact date upon which he'll return back to the campaign trail. Okay, now let's put it in a little bit of context here so you understand the severity of this. He is 78 years old, the oldest presidential hopeful in the race. If he were to be elected, he would be the oldest president ever, turning 80 years old within his first year in the year 2021. Way too old, with a heart problem, you're probably not really going to be able to go on any further. As simple as that. He was probably one of the front runners, yes, uh, up there with Joe Biden and Pocahontas, a.k.a. Elizabeth Warren. He's up there with them, but... Heart problem, elderly, is not really going to be able to go forward. Especially right now, we've not even gotten into the primary yet. I mean, it makes no sense for him to continue. Once you get to be that age and you're experiencing heart problems, it's not going to get better. Okay, you're 78. John McCain passed away, what, 81? Don't be like John McCain, Bernie Sanders, if you're listening, and pass away on the campaign trail. I don't wish anything to happen to you negatively. The last thing I want to see is anybody, I don't care, left, right, center, just die on a campaign trail, okay? So I believe that he will have no choice other than to go ahead and step down. And quite frankly, I'm not even really sure why he was there to begin with. The Democratic Party does not truly want him, all right? We saw what happened to him last time when he was facing Hillary Clinton, or maybe that time it was just a matter of the Democratic Party being all in on Hillary Clinton. They knew how strong she was. They knew how much money she was able to make for them. And they knew that she was a big part of the machine, the establishment. She would do whatever they wanted. Now, Bernie Sanders, I think, would be down with the machine if need be. But Hillary Clinton had more of the juice, more of the money, more of an ability to really make some things happen. Now, she had some issues of her own with some medical problems back then with the coffin and barely being able to move this, that, and the third, but she was a better money maker and more of an establishment person than him, so they pretty much canceled him out. With this news that has been revealed, I don't think the Democratic Party would want to support him any further on this campaign, and also people that are voting in the primary are going to see that. Are you really able to go forward, Mr. Sanders? Are you really medically fit to do this job? You're 78 years old. You just had heart surgery. He will drop out very soon, whether it's right now or a little bit later, he's going to be done. What does this mean? Well, not really much. <laughs> I think that the front runner will remain the front runner. And for right now, that appears to be Joe Biden. But you know what? I got to backtrack on that. What Bernie Sanders is going through will not affect Joe Biden, but I think Joe Biden will affect Joe Biden. He's been continuing to just drop and drop and drop. Every time he goes out there and talks, says anything, he sounds ridiculous, like he has his own medical issues. But for now, I digress. He is declining day by day out there in the campaign trail due to his own actions. And also the whole Ukraine thing, which is a different story. So I think the new front runner is going to be Pocahontas, a.k.a. Elizabeth Warren. She's going to be the front runner. However, the Wall Street class does not want her. Uh, people in tech like Zuckerberg and others don't want her because she's going to be a person that imposes wealth taxes and she's against big corporations making profit, employing people. She's against that. So they don't want her they may not even support her financially according to some people that have said that on the hill so although she may be the front runner she's going to be a flawed candidate from the very beginning so who else are you going to put in there uh, uh kamala harris also a flawed candidate with this whole racial issue kerfuffle is she an indian american is she uh, african american is she more canadian like what's really going on i don't know cory booker a strange person a weirdo 
who else is going to actually be able to get placed in the driver's seat for the Democratic Party in 2020 and have any chance of succeeding against Trump? The RNC and Trump's campaign posted a record $125 million third quarter, a, a total record. Like that's the largest amount of money ever. And remember in the 2016 campaign, Trump had half of the money Hillary Clinton had, but he's raising more money than anybody out there on the campaign show on the Democratic Party combined, combined. And it is a record. So, I mean, how are you really going to be able to get beyond that? with no strong candidate. I'm hearing that the Democratic Party are trying to bring back one Hillary Clinton. Now, this would be hilarious. I mean, Hillary Clinton, I mean, good grief. When she was in her late 60s, she looked terrible, looking like weekend at Bernie's, barely able to move, speak, anything like that. She was really struggling. How is she going to do any better in her early to mid 70s? She's 71 right now. She'll turn 72 this month in October. She's not getting any younger. She looks worse and worse like death incarnate. Every time I see her on television, even with a full face and makeup and the stylist and whatnot, she does not look very well. She looks worse than what I heard Bernie Sanders is actually feeling on the inside. So how is she going to do anything? The Democrats have no real candidates. And they've kind of been back into a corner. They talk about being uh, against a white male and old white people with money, but yet the top front runners are old white folks with money. Many of them appear to be pretty ill. Joe Biden with his mental capacity is dwindling. Uh, Hillary Clinton coughing and hacking and looking crazy. Warren is the only one that looks like some kind of way sane, but the money class the higher ups in the Democratic Party and the higher ups, as far as those that are going to donate to the Democratic Party, don't want her. So that's not going to look really good for the Democratic Party. Hopefully, Bernie Sanders gets better and does not have this heart issue really plague him for a very long time. You know, I'm a mortal enemy of the Democratic Party. I despise all of their policies, especially people like Bernie Sanders and Elizabeth Warren, those that consider themselves to be socialists, AOC also. Anybody that says that they are far left socialists, I hate that, you know, because we don't want this kind of ideology to permeate society or even get a small foothold in any part of society because people have to live in some of these Democrat far leftist controlled places all over the country. And it's not a very good thing for them. So his policies, I hate, but him as a person, he's a human being. I wish him well, hopefully he gets well soon. Hopefully he does not pass away, but he most certainly should drop out. And I think that he will. I think he'll spend the time he has left in this world, which may not be very long, quite honestly, because once you have a heart problem at that age, it's not going to really improve. Hopefully he spends the time he has left with his family, people that love him, and he can just enjoy life that way, right off in the sunset and don't get involved with politics anymore. Because listen, being in politics and definitely trying to become the president, it's a high stress thing. You always see Bernie yelling, uh, I wrote the damn bill. You see him yelling all the time. And <laughs> you know that's gotta put a lot of stress on his heart, on everything. So you cannot do that anymore. You gotta stop. And once you continue to do that, like I said, you can mess around and pass away on the hill and nobody wants to see that. Go be with your family, drop on out. And I think that he will most certainly do that even without hearing me give my pitch as to why you should. But I think I'll leave that right there for now. And that's pretty much all I got. What say you? Do you think that Bernie Sanders will step down effective almost immediately or at least very soon? If that's your viewpoint, let me know why in the comments below. Or will he not? step down now before you answer that question understand this he has already canceled any public appearance and so further notice there's no deadline upon which he's going to return so when you hear that what does that really mean to you do you think he will return or do you think he will not return and they're just trying to figure out a way to announce it rather than just having it be abrupt like this after the surgery whatever your comments are Please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace.